Today we're in the wardrobe of my friend Victoria Spackman, director of the New Zealand Institute of Creativity. That's right, to Oaha. Yeah. And you open in... We open in a few days. Nice. Very soon, 5th of March we get students in. Victoria's just shown me her outfit that she's made for the opening, which I think is a really, really brave thing. What, to, to make something for an opening? Well, if it hadn't worked, I wouldn't have worn it. Right. So I made it months ago, and if it wasn't going to, you know, I've got plenty of other things to wear. So but I, I love your determination. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you put the zip in three times. I did. I did, because the zip was terrible, and then all of a sudden it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and, it's a really good zip. And it's in the colour I always think of you in, purple. Well, it's, you, see, I don't see it as purple. I see it more as an electric blue. But then I'm <laughs> very distinct. I can distinguish between loads of purples and loads of blues that I think other people just blend up. But your favourite colour is purple. Absolutely. Why? So this is the thing, no one's sure. My father says that I have liked purple ever since I could say no, which seems likely. <laughs> and he also has this theory that when I was sitting in some class and they went around a room and everyone said, what's your favourite colour? And everyone said blue or, or red, blue or red, blue or red, or blue or pink, right? Blue, pink, red. And I was like, purple. And then I had to make it true. Now, I don't know if that's true because my father is a bit of a joker. So, but, but then you are a determined soul. I am a determined exactly. So it does. It's po it's potentially likely. But you're committed yeah. to the c color purple. I'm reasonably committed, but not to all purple. So there's a whole bunch ah. at one end. Yeah, there's a whole bunch at one end I can't wear. And the problem with being committed to purple is people give you purple things. <laughs> okay, like, so randomly. what? What? Looking at your wardrobe, yeah. what's what's the purple things that people have given you? Um, I'm trying to. I don't know, because I, I kind of cull things. It's not necessarily clothes that they give me, but is there? I'm just trying to think if there's a purple thing in here that I didn't buy. Yeah, I don't think I bought that. But it's nice. That's nothing wrong with that. Is it the right? Because it's a bit That's more cerise. It's, it's, it's our purple that I wear, yeah, but it is a little more cerise. My, my, the, you know, this is the, these are the, you know, those are the true purples that I really love. Right, that deep aubergine royal purple. Yeah, royal purple. That's the colour exactly. of my wedding dress. Yeah, I tried your wedding dress on, remember? And I never wear purple. Yeah. But I wore it when I got married. Yeah. This I don't know what that says. New beginnings. Is that what purple No, purple's, purple's regal and ecclesiastical and, you know, a colour of the privileged. Yeah. And wasn't but, it only the, like, the, yeah. the yeah. church... And royalty could wear purple. Yeah, because it was so expensive, because it was made from such expensive materials. Right. So when we, when, so look it's at not, your But wardrobe. it's not as purple as you think it was going to be, right? But you've got this, yeah, like purple purple. That's, a, that's another favourite purple. And Again, then you've got this see, that blue I think, purple. See, I think, that's, I think of that as electric blue, blue. But that's because in the 80s, there was a period when everything, I had, I had a pair of suede shoes that colour. I wish I still had one. Uh, in the eighties, that I wore to a, that I wore she and they got ruined. This color. Um, <laughs> the shoes I had that that one that color suede, they got ruined at a dance exponents concert. Oh. <laughs> I can tell Are you. Are you still grieving? Was it in Dunedin? No, it was here. Right, it was here. I was here. Yeah. Um, so the shoes would have gone magnificently with the dress. But look, this was my seventh form ball skirt. Also, I mean, look, wow, I mean, you they really are committed to that colour. Yeah, but they're such good colours. But then you wear a lot of that, a lot of a lot of red and a lot of pink. And... Yeah, that's yeah. Oh. That is beautiful. Stu bought that oh. one for me. He went into a shop and bought that for me. And the woman in the there was a woman in the shop. He can tell you that story. Beautiful. There was a woman in the shop who was trying it on, and it, and she was wearing twelve or whatever that is, trying it on, and she she heard him say, "I want to buy it for my partner." And she went, oh, here, take it. So romantic, have the dress. Aww. Isn't that sweet? That's gorgeous. Um, yeah, so that's... I love that Yeah, because your shades, you, 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 when you think of the rainbow colours, yeah. you're all down one end of the spectrum, yeah. aren't you, really? I think of it as being uh, power. So, like, the colours of power. You know when you... When yeah, you, yeah, yeah. The, the, not the soft side of power. There's a soft soft side of power there. But the, the rough... There you go. So those kind of... Um, the you know the outside of the power, not the inside of the power. Those are all my colours. Now the inside of the power. No, so that's the inside of the power. Yeah, well, well 
Isn't the outside like the, the, yeah, the other, calcified? Yeah, so there's the calcified part. I don't wear this necklace anymore, but there's the calcified part. So the greens and whatever. yellows. Yeah. And then there's the inside of the shell, but there's also this part here, which is much lighter. So you're right, maybe that's the... You see that? I think you're the inside of the shell. Yeah, this is... This is uh, this crusty might be the, on the outside. Crusty on the outside. <laughs> and a jewel on the inside. Perhaps that's... Um, I was sort of there's the inside of the shell, but see, can you see the completely different light? Yeah. Can you yeah, see that? Yeah. Is that shooting light at you? That shoots light if you get on the right angle. Um, that, that's sort of, maybe it's the underside of the parlor. I don't know my parlors very well. Maybe it's, this is the top and this is the bottom or something. But they're definitely, like, the colors are more smudged together in this one. Whereas those are distinct. Anyway, those are the colors I think of as, as my wardrobe. So, if you see something, what what I love about you is one, you're not afraid of colour, but no. two, if you've had something in your wardrobe for a while, you'll get it re-engineered, like you'll get it yeah. restyled, Sometimes so I'll you can get more life yeah. out of it. Yeah, do you want to see, so this, oh what Trish made, what Trish made, yeah, so, so Trish Given um, works with us and um, she is an amazing, amazing pattern maker and and maker. Yeah, so this is a piece, this front piece is the the beading was from a dress I bought second hand in nineteen ninety two or something. Yeah. And wore to parties in you know, in those days. And it had it was full skirted and had a big kind of well, I don't know what the word, sort of tank toppy type thing, but it had um, great V, a beautiful V neck and leaves, embroidered leaves. And they were kind of a the, olive -y. Yeah, so the black and olive. Only yeah. very few olives, but yeah, the olive was pulled out of it. Um, and I always liked the leaves and I always liked the front, but I couldn't wear it anymore and it was really tatty and stuff. Mm. So I took it to Trish and said, can we do something with this piece? Because, of course, that piece is so wonderful. So she removed the bodice? She removed the bodice. I've got some of the bodice, and used that front piece. She bought. We bought some more satin, so there's a little bit more satin there. But this back of it is from the original. So this, so oh, this overskirt. Really high skirt. Yeah, but it's a very long skirt. So no, oh. not really. Um, it's full length. The, um, this overskirt of this is from the original. Right. Nice. Oh yes, she put those panels in. Yeah, she put the panels in to make and that, with it. And was that beading on the original? Yeah, the beading was the original. So that's the bit that I like. The, I mean, it's amazing. But a lot of people would think, oh, 1990s, it's not fashionable anymore. It doesn't well, it was fashionable anymore. ever. <laughs> but they but they'd just they put it, it in the charity bin. Yeah, well, I, you, couldn't, you couldn't put... Well, what kind of a maniac would put beading like that in a charity bin? But people do. Do they? Yeah. Okay. And what I love about you is that you still see the value within the garments and then you have them um, re-engineered so they work yeah. for you now. Yeah. So what do you, what toppy? So she made you with that? this top for it. <gasps> so we put so the purple. shots of purple, right? Yeah. And the, again, that black, the pink's new, pink and purple are new. The black covering there, the light, mm. chiffon-ish, is original. Yeah. But then the rest of it isn't. <clears throat> Is it boned? No. No. It's got, it's got, um, beautiful. Yeah. And, yeah. And so that top I can wear with the skirt from my seventh form ball. See, this is a woman who is not afraid of colour. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty cool. So in your wardrobe, so tell yeah. me about the years. So, the yes. depth of, uh, yeah. So you've got your n newer items. How far back do your clothes? In Have terms you... of what I can wear? No, no, no. In terms <clears throat> of how long you've had them. How long I've had so, them? So, um, through recent through to a decade old, two decades. Uh, at so. least a decade. Old. I mean, that's seventh form. So. That's more than a decade. More than a decade. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's a very long time. But because it's a formal piece, right? I've hardly worn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's been to parties without me. It was a. <gasps> it was a friend of mine's daughter turned five or six or whatever she did, and she wanted everyone, everyone in the family to dress as princesses. And my friend said, "But you've got a princess skirt." To which I said, "Yes, yes, I do." 
and I have a princess tiara, of course. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's really great. Don't you love it? When it, I mean, so many people have worn my wedding dress. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's great. I love it's exactly that. It gets that many outings. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, so that's probably is that the oldest piece? No, that one there. I can't wear this. This, but I, you can't. I can't throw this out because it's so amazing. Check out the back of that. So we've got a little denim number. It's not. Yeah, it's more than you think it is. Stone washed. Oh, that's early nineties. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I think it's older than that. I think oh, I've really? had, I think I've had that since I was fourteen, which is unfortunately before the early nineties. Oh really? Isn't that amazing. And I can't if I pull that down I think everything will fall on. Because that kind of stone wash. Yeah. But it's a bit Madonna ish too, it's isn't a, it? That's the thing. That's like eighties, yeah. Yeah, and the yeah. two backs on it, the two gaps on it. So when's the last time you wore this? I wore that to a friend's thirtieth, so probably was it fifteen years ago. Yeah. But I can't it's just it's so the shape is so amazing that I can't throw it out. You could put it on a hanger and hang it on the wall. Yeah, you, you, yeah, except you want to see the back. Look at the tux, it has got this beautiful tux on the front. And that jersey, probably if you did your research, you'd tell what week that was bought in. <laughs> um, I think that was, actually no, I know when that was bought. That was bought before I even went to high school. No. Yeah. Yeah. Late eighties, somewhere in Wellington. Right. Um, and I mean, look at that green and purple, right? Yeah. Green and purple, green. Do you know what? I never picked up on the green in green your wardrobe and before. Yeah. You do wear a lot of that. You, you do wear a lot of red. Were you wearing that at the Gold Awards? Yes. That goes with the shoes. Everything. <clears throat> that goes with the boots. Comes with this beautiful sash. Very expensive dress, but worth it. So do you do vintage? Do you do... I do a bit of vintage. Um, I haven't got the time to shop vintage. But yeah, velvet. that's vintage. Yeah, velvet. There's two velvet pips left. <clears throat> this one here, I've changed the buttons on several times. But these are current, my current favourite buttons. Roses. Do I? They look like roses. Sort of, like stringy kind of thing i made a shirt 170 years ago cream denim not cream denim cream um linen sort of light chambray linen shirt cream with buttons and it had i made loops all around the sleeves and i wore it and wore it and wore it and because it was linen it eventually just collapsed but do you have a button chair yeah I've got my mother's button jar. I've got buttons from before I was born. I suppose. Don't you love it when you get the button jar out and it's like jewels? Yeah. You just have a look at them yeah. and then you put them back away. And you know where they are too, like when you run out of something. Yeah. And I think there's probably at least two or three more of those. So tell me about this burgundy one. Uh, I remember the history of that one. Um, oh, not purple hanger. I love hangers too. I've oh got, my goodness. I've, I've just spotted hangers. this. Look at the shoes. Green, aqua, green, silver, orange, green and blue. Oh, green and blue. Oh, they're almost yeah. like wicker. Yeah, those are a bit too high in touch now. Um, I bought new hangers recently by someone who was making who was selling them. Oh, Pretty nice. cool. Eh? Yeah. Um, so this looks vintage. Yeah, that's vintage. Hilton International, made in New Zealand, twelve. I don't know. I don't know about anything. I can't remember where I bought it. Or even if I bought it. Do you have a bit of velvet? Oh! <laughs> See? Um, this I got from Shortland Street. Like Shortland Street, that's Shortland yeah, Street. Yeah, when I worked on Shortland Street, we used to sell, we'd have, you know, sales every so often of them. Look at the lapels. Yeah. They're great lapels. Yeah. I can't remember. There was, when I worked on Shortland Street, it was always good to know, I always used to figure out who the um, character that was most my size. And style was, and then when we do sales, I'd make sure I'd go to her rank. that character. Yeah, it's a great nice. shape that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, there's an asada. I've never escada. I don't know how do you say that. Escada. I'm told that's a thousand dollar jacket. I didn't pay that for it for any stretch. That's a second hand. So do you buy much new, or not, do you, how do you? Not. I've got so many clothes. I only buy if I 
if I really, really, really need something, or if you know, I see something that's amazing and I have to have, but I've got much better at not buying things mm. because one, I know what colour is good for me, and two, I know what shape is good for me, and three, I've got so much of what I need more for. Yeah. So it's only ever something that I think, oh, that'll go with the blah blah. And except like this dress, I was faffing around in Australia and I saw this frog. And I was like, well, if that fits, I'm having it because it's so incredible. Box plate again. Yeah. But much lighter fabric, so it just sits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. And it looked great. I remember um I remember you wearing that with yeah. the Wellington Gold Awards. So well, it the, looked yeah. really fabulous. That the night the night you guys won. And the night we won. Um so yeah, big room, big room and then this sits really nicely in it too, so it's lovely. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, wow, I made that one. Oh. Yeah. Wrap around uh, oh, merino jobby. And merino can be quite, it slips, so it can actually, did you find that? No. Sometimes it can be quite, because well, it's such a fine merino. Mm. But I don't think I've seen you wear that. I wore that to my first day at work with the pink boots. <laughs> Start as you mean to carry <laughs> on. <laughs> Well, that is Victoria Spackman's wardrobe, and it's bright, and it's beautiful, and it's colourful, and thank you for letting us in. Very welcome. Nice to see you.